name is Bob Beatty, UC Farm Advisor in Kings County for tree crops, and I have with me Chris Wiley, uh, Ranch Manager of AgriWorld. First, I want to start off and point out uh, a couple things that you want to pay attention to in the training of the tree. Um, first of all, uh, when you when you bud the tree, and right here is where the where the bud is, and on this tree it's about 19 inches. Uh, the school of thought now is that we want these trees to be budded a little higher because this is typically where the shaker hooks up and when the shaker grabs on to the bud union and there is a chance that you could tear uh, a portion of the bud union so we prefer now because of the much more vigorous root stocks pioneer gold pg1 as well as ucb1 they're much more vigorous stocks there's no reason why you can't bud anywhere between 24 and as high as 28 inches. The first year our goal is to grow a vigorous rootstock, get it successfully budded beginning about the first of August and some people will push the budding window into uh, mid-July. Uh, you can do that providing you have really vigorous trees but the trees are going to grow so vigorously following budding if you have good care and they're under good nutritional status that they're going to grow an inch a day. So if you do the math, you're going to have 60 days of growing opportunity from the 1st of August to uh, August and September. So you'll have plenty of time in, in which to get the tree up to at least 42 inches. During the first dormant pruning, we perform a heading cut on the Kerman trunk at 42 inches and it has been shown that a dormant cut on the Kerman trunk creates a greater number of lateral branches to grow than an in-season cut. And if you perform this tipping, say in mid-September in a warm season on the Kerman trunk in, attempt, in an attempt to get the primaries to grow, then to Chris, typically all you're going to wind up getting are little primaries that might be only three or four, three inches, four inches in length. Right. Do not attempt to prune the trunks in the same year that you're bringing them up the stake. They don't develop girth or diameter in the trunk very quickly and so these trees require support and we're planting uh, now using uh, two by two grape stakes, six foot, and they're typically placed about uh, 12 to 18 inches in the, you go as much as 18 inches, Chris, in the, when you drive them in the ground? Oh yeah, 18 inches. And put those, put these stakes on the south side so that the prevailing wind being blown this way blows the tree into the stake. During the second year, how long do we want these primaries to grow bef and before we then perform our first training pass? This is an in-season tipping, what we call suckering. We like to go between 12 and 15 inches on the primaries. And then we'll get secondaries, and we'll let them grow out. And we just let them grow, and then we'll worry about it in the dormant pruning. We typically would develop the primary and the secondaries during the second growing year. Now, Chris and many others have a little trick to improving the lateral bud break on the primaries. What do you do to try to improve the bud break? As this little primary is growing out, when it gets around 12 to 15 inches, we tip it. Then we leave the first leaf, and go to the second bud and leaf, and we tip that leaf. That enhances the, the splitting or the branching of the secondaries, and it works, and we, I'm not sure exactly why, and we'll definitely get at least, I want at least two branches off each tipping. We usually get three or four, but this ensures that we get at least two divisions. If you don't get the division, you've wasted your time. It just changes direction and gets one single web. Most growers should consider themselves highly successful if they get good primaries and good the secondaries second in the second growing year. Should be happy. And when they get greedy and decide that they can go after the tertiaries, they wind up with tertiaries that look like this. You have put the trainers in the predicament of trying to decide whether or not they're going to do what uh, Chris and his buddies call Mickey Mousing, 
where they're going to leave these and allow these to grow terminally until they get to be 12 to 14 inches and then tip them or go below, go below it and prune here and go after laterals. So you lost some growth and then it's, plus the difficulty of training the crews. The foremans will instruct the pruners to just come go in below. and cut below it. In the second year, primaries, 14 inches, pinch. Remove the leaf blade off the second bud. When these are now out about this far, I am recommending that you leave them alone. Even if they grow out and bend down, what are we doing? We're building. We have lots of canopy area, maximizing photosynthesis, and critically, we are increasing the girth of the secondaries and the primaries because the more you prune on these trees, the more leaf area you're taking off, the more leaf area you're taking off, the less girth you have, and more, and that then means that the tree's more apt to lay down on you, and we cannot have pistachios laying down. We have to have the pistachio tree upright in order to have good shape.